Hello, you guys. I'm gonna try, because I don't have anything to hold my camera, I'm gonna try to drive while my camera's just sitting there in this little area in the dash. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> if it starts sliding around or anything, I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna stop recording or what. But anyway, so I had some thoughts and I wanted to be able to talk to you guys. Um, I, um, it's a little cold here in Texas. That's why I'm wearing a jacket. But anyway, but it's also very bright and sunny. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, um, so, I don't know. Um, basically, I want to talk about, how do I explain this? I want to talk about how we are. Um, I guess our will, our willingness, our unwillingness to do things in life and to be the way that, um, basically our lives and how we particularly choose to live our lives the way that we do. And I don't, don't be like, no, I don't choose to have anxiety. I do understand that. I don't, I never chose it either. Um, I never chose to have anxiety. I never chose to have the obsessive thoughts. I never chose to think myself into the physical symptoms that I get or would get my, because my anxiety used to be super bad, worse than what it is now. So um, I, I understand that. I never, you, you don't choose these things. You do, however, choose how to react to them you do choose who you have in your life. You do choose um, the environment that you decide to stay in when you are living your life. So if you are deciding that you want to stay in a bad relationship, if you decide that you want to stay in a, um, in a, uh, at a job that you know you're not appreciated at, um, a job that for instance, you have horrible management, let's say. Um, I'm just saying, you do make these decisions. You decide, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and stay here. Or, hey, uh, I'm just going to... Oh, my gosh. My brain, the way that it works, um, it's hard for me to speak to people sometimes because it's going to go into like an hour-long conversation or an hour-long um, lecture from me because I go into details and I go into like when I just said what I said dealing with the, the boss thing I thought well somebody's gonna say well but I need the money that I'm making or I need to be able to live I need to be able to provide for my family I need to be able to you know whatever a lot of us don't even have jobs because mm, because well because of the anxiety and because we have all these fears and we have you know all these symptoms and things like that so I'm sorry, there's like, I'm driving and I'm talking to you guys and there's like people looking at me because I'm, I'm a very animated speaker. <laughs> and so, um, anyway, so, um, but I don't care, but, um, I'm on my, I'm paying, I, I'm actually running errands right now. So you guys are going with me to run errands, <laughs> kind of, anyway, so Basically, I wanted to talk about, uh, or wanted to convey my ideas, my opinions, my thoughts on the fact that we don't, we, we really and truly, when you think about it, logically, realistically, we really do choose our lives. We choose what we are living through, basically, in life. We choose whether we're gonna survive be surviving in this world or if we are going to be actually living uh, we choose whether we're gonna have our freedom and be able to make the decisions that we want in life or on our own regardless of what fear we may have or we decide that we're gonna go ahead and stay and you know have certain people in our lives that are gonna control that part of us to control our lives completely. Um, we make these decisions on our own. We do this to ourselves. Like I said, I'm not saying 
the anxiety is something that we chose. I understand that completely because I've dealt with it for so long. But um, basically what I'm saying is we need to start making the right decisions in our life. We need to start being able to um, not stop being afraid. We're already afraid. We're afraid of everything because we have anxiety. We're afraid of death. We're afraid of um, having um, uh, dying, <laughs> you know. Um, we're afraid to go out in public. We're afraid to speak to people. We're afraid, you know, that we're going to make a mistake somehow. We're afraid, oh my gosh, I can't make this decision because this is going to happen or this is going to happen or what if this and oh my goodness, look at that. Look at the way that they looked at me. You know, I know we have these fears. We already have them. Um, why allow any kind of fear or any added fear to bring you down even further? What I'm saying is we need to start learning to make decisions that are good for us. Not good for, oh, so-and-so is going to get their feelings hurt or so-and-so is not going to like me anymore or so-and-so is not going to, um, is going to get angry at me if I do this. Okay, why, why does that matter? First of all, there's certain people that really do matter, and I understand that, and you're going to want to be able to compromise, but you're still going to compromise. You're not going to completely give up what you want in life because of that individual. But what I'm saying is don't allow your caring and nurturing spirit to be taken advantage of. Um to the point where you don't even have a life of your own, where you're surrounded by nothing but negativity, where you have all these ideas and you have all these things you want to do in your life, even if it's as simple as, oh my goodness, I want to be able to go, you know, to this amusement park, but you have all this fear, you know, um, I'm just saying, I mean, yeah, there's those of us who have like the bigger ideas, the bigger dreams, the bigger goals, and that's awesome. Um, I have those, to be honest. I have really big goals in life and things that I really want to accomplish. And I'm building myself toward those goals. I'm, I'm taking step by step, getting there slowly. But I'm getting there, you know. It's really hard to um, get past that and to be able to make those decisions because I know I had to start doing this on my own. I had to start making decisions that I knew were going to make other people angry that I knew was going to hurt other people's feelings, you know, but I couldn't continue living a lie. I couldn't continue living, living in a, living, I guess basically living a lie and trying to, I kept lying to myself every day. I kept lying to myself and being like, you're happy, you're happy, you're going to be happy, you know, oh, so-and-so, I always had excuses for people constantly making up excuses for people but th there is a certain you make excuses for people it, that only takes you so far you cannot basically stop making excuses stop wasting time you don't even know I, I know I shouldn't be talking like this because we all tend to have this fear but don't allow yourself to be put in a box don't allow your dreams your your happiness anything to be put in a box for the comfort of others don't do that make decisions that are going to make you happy make decisions that are going to be um good for you and your life and the way that you want your life to be um don't do that don't make decisions based on other people i understand you have to be nice i know me I'm very nice and very kind. I, I try to do for others constantly, but I'm not going to go too far. You have There has to be balance. There has to be moderation in everything that you do in life. In everything, every aspect of life has to have moderation. You can't just give 100% of yourself to individuals that are just taking and taking and not willing to give back or not allow or at least letting you know, hey, why are you doing that? Don't you have dreams of your own? Why don't you go and do this or that? Um, yeah, you don't, don't do that. But anyway, there's a lot more I want to say. 
but I am going to stop here because I'm about to get to one of my destinations. And um, yeah, so just remember that you're not alone and remember that you are amazing. And in all honesty, hold on. <laughs> Aw, dang it, I forgot. Okay, anyway, in all honesty, in all honesty, I love you guys. I love you guys so much. Um, I really and truly do. I love people. I love, I just love you guys. And um, I want the best for you guys. I want you all to get out of the slump you're in. I want you guys to get out of the negativity that surrounds you. I want you to get rid of that in your life. I want you to be surrounded by positivity. I want you to be happy. I want you to get away from the anxiety and to not allow it to take over your life anymore. That's what I want. And if it takes you getting out of certain environments, do it. Just do it. I know it's hard and I know it's scary, but you can do it. You can do it. I've done it. Um, I'm still working on a lot of crap that I haven't been able to get through, but I'm getting there slowly and you can do the same. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I love you guys. Um, and I will talk to you later.